Hey Taurus Collective, I am Rose Warrior One here with a message for y'all today. Let's go ahead and tap right in. Holy Spirit, angelic guides, please protect this vessel as well as the table and the energies that we are pulling and protect the Taurus Collective as they watch this reading as we all are to feel safe and in community and unity for this message. Ashe, and so we may begin this Taurus read. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for returning if you are a returning subscriber or viewer. And thank you if this is your first time and you're choosing to stay just to see what this vibration and message unlocks for you as, okay? Taurus, I feel that you are going through a moment in time where you're maturing and you may be confused about what this feeling is because it doesn't feel bad, but it also doesn't feel like anything great is popping up over and over, right? Which is what anyone would wish for honestly who chooses to see the beauty in life i'm picking up on someone who sees and chooses to see the good in every situation but you're also still very realistic about how you approach things that's what people don't always expect from taurus is that just because taurus carries that venusian energy doesn't mean that love doesn't turn into justice and truth and the hammer you know really laying down the law sometimes is what i'm getting here there's just something about the emotional state or the emotional well-being so taurus you have your first two energies coming through lots of pisces cancer scorpio you have the number 54 or 45 showing up here so you've learned a lot of lessons taurus 144 on the clock as i say that you're embodying this lifetime in an essence of being in situations where yes you have to work hard to build your foundations to build your security but you're also in this lifetime learning how to open up your heart open up your heart to yourself it's like i'm sp speaking to someone who you freely and easily can give love and the act of it right and you use your senses and your ability to feel the surroundings right as a way to, to help others, as a way to help others see their own truths. You're like a teacher energy. You're like a mentor energy is what I'm picking up on, Taurus. A motherly or a fatherly figure in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you just have characteristics of helping others see truths about themselves. But yet, there's this almost energy of lack right and giving it to yourself so there's a time period where you need to give this back to yourself and to focus on this self-love in order for you to self-nurture and self-care as well because these are all different things but they involve you focusing on where you're at and where your energies can grow too ace of swords here there is clarity and focus coming through or it's going to be coming through if you if you've been in this four of cups five of cups energy this is like dreading the past this is dreading missed out situations missed out connections maybe things have ended here but what we see is that there are one two three four five cups still standing of both out of the two and spirit is bringing you a sixth cup as you may be still healing upon a bunch of situations that ended recently, as well as this could have been connections, work, or just feeling like you were a little disconnected from the world here. There is like this brand new energy coming through. So your heart is reminded you are cared for, you are watched over, and you are appointed to the right places. You're never in necessarily a wrong place or space. There's just lessons to learn when we choose the life we choose that's all it is you've learned these lessons is what i'm getting here so now it's like opening the heart up again in order to truly let go in order to truly truly embody that enlightenment that you know you have deeply rooted within you taurus because you're by a tree here so there's something about an everlasting wisdom you have, something about being deeply rooted to your culture, to your lineage. What is this energy spirit? There you go. There you go. Wow, Taurus. Okay, so what I'm picking up on Taurus, you could be also carrying this Pisces energy or you could be 
carrying Capricorn energy as well, or you could be dealing with Pisces or a Capricorn. What I am picking up on is this energy is around you or within your situation in this reading at least because it entails wisdom. It entails working hard to unlock that treasure chest in the physical, in the mental, in the emotional, in the spiritual. You are someone who is, it's almost as if you have been prepared to bloom out of the, for what people around you may think is out of nowhere. You are someone who has been working diligently on your craft, your skills here. You've been protecting your energy. You may not have been messing with connection to others at this time. You've been definitely in a more isolated environment. This is because God has been speaking to you the most high, the divine source, however you refer to it, right? The higher knowledge here has been guiding you and helping you, but you've been working very hard and it's time to truly notice where maybe you are overworking or pouring extra energy in other places when maybe looking into yourself and clapping for yourself, giving yourself some time here is going to help you gain some more clarity because you've been moving. I just see that you've been moving, but you've been feeling some type of way in the heart and that you've been pushing that to the side so you can physically keep going. Because I see this Knight of Pentacles, you've been waiting on some type of change financially. You've been waiting on some change materialistically. And this doesn't mean a bad thing. This just means in the material world, you have been focused in the physical. Because I see you at work or I see you working here. This is like someone being in their office, someone being in their living room, in their creative environment at home, at work, in another space that maybe you rent out. It doesn't matter because where you choose to perfect your craft here is not as important as how your heart feels while you're working on it. How do you feel, right, when you do the things that you love, when you pour into so much energy into your work, into your crafts, your skills? How that makes you feel is how you should always feel. That's why you're given these gifts. I see with the Nine of Wands here and the Three of Cups, you've been protecting yourself from three different energies, Taurus. There could be, this could be resonant for some of you. Some of this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what is yours or take the whole reading if you felt like the whole reading was personal. If you want a personal or private reading from me, I send those links out between one to three days. And if you would like to book a reading and get prices information, that information is below in the description box. Let's continue. We do have this. It's like you're looking at three different energies or, or even just energy that may surround you in mind, body or even spirit. Right. And you've had your boundaries and your guards up for a while, but I'm getting this energy that this could also be a reason you haven't opened up and been able to open up to certain blessings that may be around you because you've been truly in a more introverted mindset. And this is okay, Taurus. But I do see that even though you've been introverted, it's not because you're just hiding, you're working. You've been away and working. But spirit also wants you to focus on where your heart and what your heart is telling you, where your heart is telling you to go. Look at three of wands here. This is like literally listening to your heart in a beautiful sacred spot. Maybe a sacred spot could be by a tree somewhere you've been all your childhood everywhere uh, i'm getting somewhere you go since you were a child that gives you this clarity it's like a pond a forest a, a, a space a private place here you're being called here by your higher self the judgment card here scorpio libra energy coming through and then leo sagittarius in the three of wands this is a huge the judgment card here number 20 gives this final call, this call to action, this call to raise your vibration, to reach that one moment you've been working so hard. And it's not a moment, it's a frame of time that energy flows in your life and is able to help you see the love that you exude and the love that you deserve back. But a lot of it is aligning with our mind, our body, our gut, everything. It must align for us to truly see, right? Which is why it's so difficult sometimes because there's so many things going on in the world. Ace of Cups, 
I'm getting Cancer and Pisces energy here. It's like spirit continues to bring you new ways to learn to love yourself and, and other people to learn to love you. And I'm getting that they don't even have to learn. It's so natural that people fall in love with your personality, your energy, because you come from a, a good place. You really do. Let's get more clarity on this, though. This message may not be for everyone. I will say that one more time. It's very specific here. I'm just going to go with where I'm guided. I'm going to pull an oracle card and we're going to read not the whole the whole card on the oracle book, but we'll read the overall energies. Angels, guides that have watched over Taurus Collective here. What are your messages to come through? We have winter solstice, number 11. Wow. So that number 11 is coming through. You could be seeing the numbers 222 or 1111 because 11 breaks down to 2. And we're at 11 on the clock as well as I pull number 11. So like I said, that number is showing up because you have manifested something personally. It's like a, a personal window or doorway. You've been You've been truly pouring so much thought and desire into it it just popped open and you're like oh shoot or for some of you this is going to be something you manifest during winter season so during the months of like november december january especially you're going to go through not just pivotal changes but successes and achievements that change your timeline forever for some of you because some so whoever i'm speaking to taurus you're not just a very hard working person you're also very talented you could have fire energy within you too as well as capricorn energy you have some type of tenacity tenacity some type of grit taurus we have winter solstice let's go ahead and read this here where's that little baby book this is good energy taurus i see that you've been in a serious modality here but it's been working but spirit says with this with this message Take time to celebrate. It says rejoice, honor, self-reflection, rebirth. And then it has a quote here at the very end. It says life is what you celebrate, all of it, even its end. That is beautiful. It means that you are always able to celebrate breath of life. One, two, three, four on the clock. You are always able to celebrate the senses you do have, even if you can't see the best, you can't smell or hear the best. What senses do you have that fully and functionally and properly work, right? Being grateful and, and celebrating what you do have, because what you do have, you're meant to have. It's meant to be more than enough to take you to where you want to be. So don't focus on what you don't have or what you haven't achieved or where you're not yet. Because that's not as important as what is already in this moment is what I'm getting here. You are to self-reflect and celebrate how far you've come here. You could be someone who resonates with flowers or re you resonate with Christmas time. This could be a very significant time where lots of changes happen in, a, in your childhood or as a child here, Taurus. This is beautiful energy. I'm going to leave that here. And let's pull one more oracle card here from a whole nother deck this will be my mystical wisdom deck here that i'm pulling from and remember guys all donations and personal readings booked this week are going to go towards new tools so that's the goal in the, within the next two weeks to three weeks is to get more tools for the youtube fam so y'all can have fresh energies as well so we have seven heavenly virtues, the keys to goodness. I know some of these virtues are like patience, temperance, right? Allowing yourself to receive the messages from the cosmos, from the divine here. Staying open, seven heavenly virtues is also giving me seven chakras here, right? Our seven chakras that are the main energy centers, Right? We have little baby chakras, but we have seven main energy sensors that are designed to help us regulate our energy bodies, right? our light bodies here. You are being called to remember the goodness that exists within you. Even when you experience dark seasons with this winter solstice here, you could have been or are in a dark season mentally or emotionally. It could be for any reason, honestly. But you are being called here to remember the goodness that you have and that you exude. It's time to tap into it is what I'm getting here. 
or tap into it deeper. Let's see. You know what, Taurus? I'm going to use my, I call it my loyalty deck. When I'm tapping into someone who's very much so giving loyal energy, I use my, my wild dog tarot because when we think of, you know, man's best friend being a dog, we think of the loyalty given to their owners or their who they see as their their partner for life which is the dog sees their owner as a partner for life that's what i'm getting here the sun king of wands lots of fire leo energy coming through taurus could be dealing with a leo dealing with a fire sign or you could have fire very prominent within you metaphorically figuratively or actually in your astrology chart I'm just being guided today, letting, you know, the divine and my intuition and guides pull me to the right decks for each sign I choose to root for. What came through again is King of Wands. So this is the message coming through, even though I put it back in and shuffled. You have been receiving messages for a long time, Taurus, about how much of a leader you really are, how much potential you truly carry to change the world. Just by your imagination alone, are you able to change your environment? Just by your thoughts alone, are you able to conjure up new ways of creation? We have a lizard here insinuating of rejuvenation, reflection, rejoicing, and regenerating. It's like you're in this phase where you have only been introverted in order to regenerate, regenerate ideas, regenerate creativity. But I'm just getting that word coming through. Cancer energy with number seven. Remember, we're talking about seven chakras here. You're getting centered. The, ch the chariot is a victorious leader coming back home to their selves. The chariot also represents transportation. So it's like, where are you going, Taurus? <laughs> where are you being transported to? Or how is transportation significant in your life? Remember we said Leo? Well, strength card came through number eight, right? So after seven comes number eight here. That's interesting. It's like you're in this progression forward and number eight is one of or in my opinion through research and spiritual research and meditation eight can be one of the most spiritual numbers you can receive eight is infinite growth infinite potential infinite creation but it can also represent a darker side of things like infinite loops right infinite moments that keep repeating even though you are to break them to move on to move forward here it, strength can also mean you know having durability during times of financial struggle or crisis here it's like sometimes strength is like okay you pull that gift out that helps you still move forward even though everything's not working in your favor all the time we got two of wands here so it's like you're learning how to create a new path there's also someone involved with you here because I see two energies in both cards. You have another person involved. This can be family, friend, coworker, significant other. But they see that you're anointed because you see this, this pup here is touching the lion's head here, Leo energy, because there is a loyalty, there is a leadership, there is a presence that this lion carries. You are like this lion spirit showing up now. So what's showing up very strongly, symbolically, is the lizard, symbolically, and then the lion here. So search up lizards and lions and what they mean for you, Taurus. This could insinuate where you're at. Look, Knight of Wands. So this is literally a level in the fire rank. It's like there's fire energies in the tarot suit, and then there's the royal leaders that run that energy, right? Or you can think of them as the royal rankings. So you have the strength here, which is like the power that the fire suit has, right? Expansion, strength, infinite potential to grow. And then you have king of wands, which is like king of fire. And then you have knight of wands, which is like the knight of fire. There's a lot of fire protection around you, which will probably be the title of your reading, Taurus. This fire protection is given to you and bestowed onto you so you can live out your truth. The knight of wands is quick is a messenger of potential the knight of wands is a messenger of expansion a messenger of authentically owning your own style your own wardrobe dressing the way you dress adding the accessories that make you feel good about yourself right 
it's like Aquarius energy, but not as not as much as it is bringing a different intention. It doesn't care so much about future endeavors as it does about the now moment, right? Aquarius is only so fixed on the future because that's the gift they have to foresee it. You, Taurus, are carrying this Knight of Wands energy and King of Wands energy where you're so in the now moment. It's like asking the right questions to create what you want because you have everything given to you now to create it. With Two of Wands here, it's like, do I stay or do I go? That's literally what I just heard here. Yeah, look, Ten of Swords here, ending of some sort of connection or cycle. This could have caused a lot of pain. Whoa, definitely could have caused a lot of pain. You may have lost a dog. You may have lost, maybe your family lost a, a pet recently, which is nothing different than losing a family member. Because family members are family members is what I'm hearing. You may be just healing from some type of loss that you have here. But I do see that the sun is shining behind you. There's like abundance that comes after you are demonstrating to yourself and to your guides what strength you really have you have like this infinite void not a void but an infinite vault there you go it was meant to say vault an infinite vault of of fire fire potential but also strength it's like you have this ability to keep expanding if you want to but it doesn't come without lessons and learning to let go and learning to surrender right top of the deck energy is the devil capricorn energy i'm also posting a reading for capricorn taurus so you can tap into that as well if you're dealing with one or you have or resonate with capricorn energy but the devil coming through number 15 does tell me that there are a lot of things you're letting go of at this time there's a lot of thoughts that you obsessed over and it was just because it was a programming that you never got rid of because there was a lack of awareness at, at that time now that you're aware you're learning what gunk lies in your mind and your heart and around you too and you're getting very ferocious right in a good way on how to approach it capricorn energy sometimes is very stern very to the point very unemotional when it comes to no i'm telling you this is what i'm about to do it's not a question and it's rhetorical you know sometimes the energy can come off that way is what i'm getting here maybe this is the energy you're tapping into because this is what your masculine presence that also is within you is calling at this time for for you to get very real serious firm and direct with where you're going so it's a lot of air energy too uh, involved with that mental processing so that's your message today, Taurus. Take this only if it resonates. Take the beginning, the middle, just the ending, even if it was just a word or a sentence that you were meant to hear. Sometimes that's all that you were meant to see. So just take what's yours. Pray before, after, during the reading here so you can gain even more insight. Prayer is very important because it's your communication device to the divine, to your guides, and your ability to see even clearer. So I say that on this page because prayer is important in my family. It's important for me on a daily basis. And it's, like I said, that way to really truly see everything clearly is to speak out what you really want to see so it can find you like a GPS spiritually. <laughs> so yeah, I just heard the word Holy Spirit or the two words Holy Spirit. So yeah, that's very significant today. So thank y'all so much. I will see you soon. If you want a personal reading or you'd like to donate, do note that's all going towards new material for this channel. Peace.